Hi guys, my name is Jenia. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome as well. Today I'm looking like a pop star from 80s. So I decided I, I, I really need to show this video, super spontaneous one. As you already understood, this is a video about books. I think I went a freaking feral when my favorite publisher, Tashen, they made a huge sale. So I couldn't resist. A couple of books are about botanical illustration. This is a Garden Eden. This is a, a really big flower book. <laughs> I didn't open it yet. Uh, another one is um, Cabinet of Nature natural curiosities so it should be super creepy and um, very funny and very interesting so um, next books are about my favorite artists i'm uh, a little disclaimer i'm not sure i'm pronouncing it right but i i hope you will understand so uh, the first one is hokusai the japanese uh, illustrator and artist the second is um, Pasquia. Uh, I, I really not sure that it pronounces uh, so, but you know, uh, abstract expressionism from uh, 80s, 80s style. Uh, Gauguin, Henry or Henri Matisse. Of course, my favorite freedom. This is Marc Chagall. I will pronounce it uh, in a Russian way because he was kind of Russian and not my favorite artist but I really want to discover him more it's Hiroshige yeah so I really want to show you uh, all of these beautiful books and I hope you will enjoy it okay guys let's start with the biggest book it's actually the most interesting one for me as a former uh, botanical illustration it's a, a collection of examples of botanical uh, illustration by Pierre-Joseph Redois. <laughs> I hope I pronounced the name correctly. Yeah, that's, this book is super huge. Like, really? <laughs> I think it, <laughs> um, it weighed uh, at least a couple of kilos um, and I really wonder how many pages it has like let's uh, i think 300 <laughs> at least whoa it's 200 and not even a half yeah okay 400 500 okay um <laughs> at least 600 pages um yeah i also uh, really like that here is a text in the beginning of the book uh, about the author, about um, his life and the work, so a um, little biography and I really like um, that the text is uh, translated to, um, into three languages, uh, it's in English, in German and also French, I've seen, yeah, French, yeah, uh, French is also here. Let's open some random spread, for example, roses. I think I've seen uh, thousands of copies of this illustration all over the Instagram. Look at these roses or those one. This is, oh, or for example, this one. I, I'm pretty sure I've seen this composition and the color scheme and whatever. So it, um, um, it makes this book super per grade for when you are learning botanical illustration and if you want to copy some works. But, um, let's pick three uh, random spreads and um, yeah, so let's, let's pick one from the first part of the book. This is beautiful. This is, I'm, I'm super impressed by this book actually. I'm imagining how much work he put onto every illustration and the composition of this this illustration are also great. It uh, it pretty standard has um, the same layout, the flower and the font here. This is actually I really love. So that was <laughs> my second random 
spread and uh, look at this rose. It's a very um, beautiful color combination and I want to use it somewhere. And this is a way I uh, want to work with this book, so find uh, little beautiful things I want to incorporate in my works. Yeah, let's have a look to another one. So this is also roses. Um, maybe we do have something different in the end. This reminds me of my um, grandma and this is yeah, super beautiful one. And <laughs> look at this butterfly. In the real life uh, you won't see butterfly like totally open. <laughs> but um, in the illustration why not? Love this book gonna work with it and let's move to the next one. Whoops. This book is also a collection of botanical illustration but um, this time it's not by the same author but um, uh, it contains work from the same collection, the National Library of Wien. Um, it also very large and consisting of how many pages? Um, okay, more than 700s. And as far as I remember, that's that's beautiful one. Oh, the Strelitz is dying, but super beautiful. While in the first book we saw only um, flowers and flowers blooming. Here are examples of a wide variety of botanical illustration from roots, <laughs> spruits, and some mushrooms, nuts, also leaves and fruits. Yeah, um, the, we do have a text here as well and uh, this text is also in three languages, just uh, basic text. Yeah, I'm most interested in the illustration and we have uh, really like old examples uh, here. <laughs> this is fun. Yeah, and uh, most, most modern one, super detailized and bright and colorful. We know this author, right? <laughs> Already know him. Yeah, those guy. Hi, Pierre Joseph Redois. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, hi, Pierre Joseph. I'm actually very impressed uh, by the quality of uh, all of those artworks and. Um, to be honest, I already wish I had bought it um, in a larger size because I also can see how I can use this book, um, how can I copy and be inspired by all of this illustration. So I definitely um, do not regret um, buying it. Let's go to the next one. The third book is um, Cabinet of Natural Curiosities um, and this is like the same series but uh, another, I think, another collection made by um, collector Albertus Seba from Netherlands. He lived in 17th century and collected a lot of mm, interesting things. So let's have a look. Whoa! Snakes? What else? Fishes? Oh, guys, I'm... <laughs> I also regret that I bought a really small one. I wish I had a bigger uh, bigger book. What was that? That's a sea plants. Whoa. I'm wondering, is it the text in, in the both languages, in three languages? Yeah, three languages. <laughs> okay, let's have... Oh, so cute! <laughs> Look at this crazy anatomy. I don't know what to say. Look at those. Hey, hi, Mousie. <laughs> uh, 
another one super funny I really love how old illustrators try to uh, try to illustrate the things uh, he they never seen for example this cheetah <laughs> They've never seen cheetah in their life, they, but they tried still. Oh, turtles. Oder Schildkröte in German. Oh, the beautiful ones. I have no words, guys. This is my new turtle animal. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, you got it. Who's next? Lizards. Let's see in those. Oh, oh, dead mouse with a pretty big penis, I think. Imagine having this illustration that big. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Those guys are marvelous love his face impression so shall we um, go to the next one next we will have mostly books um, devoted to my favorite artist or at least <laughs> artist i want to copy or um, whose techniques i'm um, interested in so i one of them, of course, is Matisse, and I choose him for his colors, um, color schemes, and of course for his still life paintings. Look at this. This is also a beautiful color combination. How could he make this? looks like real gold this is look, looks like real gold <laughs> look another beautiful still life or what is this is it interior painting with still life i don't know <laughs> oh that's the most famous one i think i love colors and i love the combination between uh, graphics and colors i would love to uh, see it in original is it in paris yeah, this is um, this painting is in Paris, so <laughs> another reason to visit Paris. His uh, later works are done in um, collage technique, and uh, here I'm super interested in how he works uh, with form and a color. So shapes super simplified but the composition is pretty complicated and he used super contrast colors like black and white and blue and uh, yellow also red uh, so these basic colors are super i don't know this composition just i like this composition and another one look this pattern composition super beautiful Actually, I did a term paper and uh, designed a book uh, about Matisse when I was a um, graphic design student um, more than 10 <laughs> years ago. And still, guys, I, um, he still fascinates me in a really great way. So I really love to have this book. I wish this book could have more like artworks and less text, but it was a cheap one uh, and so I'm happy uh, that I have, I have it. The next one is Freedom. Um, this is the same series, as you can see, all of them are pretty thin and about 100, um, about 100 pages a lot of uh, text and uh, also a lot of um, artwork examples. Of course, as a female artist, I'm super interested in um, Frida and in her artworks. I personally not love this 
surrealistic style uh, he worked in but um, love how she um, created such uh, beautiful and uh, meaningful self-portraits like this is um, this is most tragical one I think <laughs> look the contrast between those two artworks um, so Frida's art um, interests me a lot and I think most probably because of her personal history and for me her personal history is a really history of artists and history of female artists and I think she's uh, right now most uh, well-known female artist of the whole history great book uh, which color actually has Matisse here ah, okay also yellow let's check the uh, let's check the second book this is a Gauguin oh new pattern here So Paul Gauguin or Gauguin or Paul, <laughs> he interests me in a um, few ways. Uh, first of all, colors. And normally, if you are, if you're studying art or graphic design, this color scheme <laughs> could be a no-go. Like this, why pink and uh, this? Um, greenish brown and uh, dark indigo and super um, like green green <laughs> why cocaine hasn't um, had <laughs> such a limitation i for example i do have as a, a person who uh, studied uh, art yeah I, I would never do the uh, color combination uh, like this in my paintings yeah or for example this pink and also indigo and this greenish white look this is very interesting color combination and the second um, thing why I'm uh, quite interested in his uh, art that um, no, I think woman body and woman anatomy in general I love how he created women who are strong and um, had a body like supernatural body and that's uh, wh what I really interested in I never knew he did also still lives like this also great color combination mm? so this book um, I bought because I really wanted to to study uh, Gauguin style and I also wanted to learn more about them and um, about him and about his art process about his life on Tahiti and about everything um, also according to his disease and yeah that's super interesting uh, that's super interesting for me so the next artist the next art is going to be Basquiat. Um, so the most uh, modern one from my uh, little collection of the book. Yeah, as you may see, that's the same same series, uh, same um, quite cheap book I got for, I think, seven euros or even less or six. And uh, that's why I've bought like variation of a uh, few, like few artists, because I wanted to learn more about all of them and it's still better than um, searching on wikipedia look at this like wow <laughs> so beautiful is it a painting or collage let's check page 11 yeah so this is acrylic and oil stick on canvas this is a super beautiful artwork i love the also i love the color combination um, this composition and this white form with a black font so this is like super graphic one oh that's most typical Basquiat I've um, 
actually read <laughs> already um, about him and um, I was a bit impressed about his lifestyle and about his uh, tragical death. It's so sad that we <laughs> couldn't have him like more old and we couldn't see uh, his style developing by the time. All of uh, almost all of his artworks uh, were created um, in eighties, I think, and um, this is a this is a quite complex period in um, North American history. And for example, for New York, uh, where he lived. So here, I think we can see not only the refl reflection from the artist um, himself, but also reflection how life was <laughs> in New York at that time. What I really want to do with this book, uh, I want to use the oil sticks, um, or at least I want to try to use oil sticks um, in the way he did, but uh, not with the, those um, characters, but for example, with my own uh, shapes and my own heroes. Also, I would love to incorporate uh, the um, pretty primitive font like he um, did there. So this is almost an end. Yeah. Um, to the next one. The next guy is Mark Chagall. <laughs> Look, <laughs> same pattern. Um, the Russian, I uh, used to call him a uh, Russian artist and <laughs> the French used to call him a French artist, but I, as far as I remember, he was uh, of Jewish origin and um, he was born near Vitebsk, um, which is now Belarus. Yeah, and uh, he spent most of the um, most of his uh, lifetime um, moving between Belarus and uh, former Russia Empire and Paris. Yeah, um, Chagall works uh, reflect um, mostly Jewish folklore and also um, history of my home country Russia or Russian Empire. Um, he lived there part of his life before finally before he finally immigrated to France. I would love to study mostly his um, surrealistic techniques and um, example, which is not so uh, direct as uh, Dali's, for example. Um, he has more folklore or naive way to to imagine the to imagine the situation like this is I think that's genius that's super genius look at this horse or who, who's that god and a woman also great color combination this is a famous one remember great that I think it's in France already yeah uh, he actually lived a very long life and um, I really like that um, that book includes uh, a little bit of uh, artworks from each period. Um, what does this is a revolution? Yeah, this is a revolution, Russian revolution. Look at those lines. This lines is so neon yellow, neonish, and this beautiful combination between pink and more reddish, I would say. Is this a male chicken? Uh, how do you call male chicken? Male chicken, but with a X? Super interesting. I think I've never seen this uh, artwork from Chagall before. Okay, let's move to the last ones. The last ones, um, I want to um, present a couple of these uh, books together. I also bought it together. Uh, because we all know Hokusai 
but Hiroshigi, we often think of this author as a hokusai, but they are uh, different and I want to check <laughs> um, both of them. So let's start with hokusai. But I want to keep Hiroshigi next to me. Look at all of these colors. If you want to have a wood block print with so much colors, you need to cut this color and this color and this color or separately. And I think that's super impressive and it's a lot of work, you know. I'm actually wearing right now the t-shirt with this painting and I love this wave, I love the boat. Yeah, I think he's just a genius. Look at those. Oh yeah, remember about Na uh, Cabinet of National Curiosities? <laughs> um, he uh, must have studied a uh, <laughs> couple of uh, couple of examples. Yeah, turtles. <laughs> Maybe he really studied the old masters. Yeah, and uh, let's go to the Hiroshige. I also read um, about him a bit, and he's uh, famous, uh, well known for his. Um, landscape um, artworks this is a beautiful one Okay guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm not sure because this is my first time I'm filming a video about books. So let me know please in the comments um, do you like it or not or do you want to see more books or whatever, just tell me your opinion. Um, and I'm really curious what's your favorite one? Uh, because my favorite one I think this is a cabinet of um, natural curiosities <laughs> I love it so much and I, I really really I, I super amazed by these creatures and um, botanics and stones and snakes I really want to add some of these uh, heroes in my illustration or um, in ceramics uh, it's inspired me so much and I really uh, can't wait to draw more um, more do more illustration from this book uh, thank you so much for watching again I really enjoy your likes and comments and uh, other um, opinions and whatever I already said it uh, but I don't know how to finish so I maybe need to feed Nila this is the most important part for this day bye <laughs>